Hi, for someone who doesn't know me, I'm Shait Raju and the entire purpose of this channel is to like make your life easier by sharing our experiences both personal and professional and uh, we will also be sharing the projects that we'll be working on in the future. And we want you to be uh, like building your own RPA projects as soon as possible. I see a lot of people uh, who are struck into tutorial hell where they just go from one tutorial to another tutorial to another tutorial. But the sad thing here is they are not in a position to implement something of their own. Some real type use case. Because though we know that we understood few essential concepts, uh, we don't know how to use them in the real life situations. I really encourage you to start building some real life use cases okay suppose you have learned web application automation in that case right so what you can do is you can just try to add api integration to it and if it's done then you can go for desktop application automation so that's how you expand your use case okay just try to understand few domains and get some use cases from them and start implementing them okay just try to add one element and another element and then another element kind of thing the biggest mistake that most of them will end up doing is the moment they complete their certifications right they will start searching for the jobs no no that's not how it works try going through different job descriptions available on the internet okay look for the rpa developer responsibilities look for the different things they will work in the real time okay that's how you will get to know what are the different things that you should be able to learn okay what are the different skills you actually need to become an rpa developer just uh, look for those exact things that you will have to learn because going through thousands of tutorials and hundreds of certifications will not even take you close to the reality okay start practicing as many use cases as you can and then with whatever knowledge you have gained or uh, whatever concept that you have just learned try to build a real-time use case all by yourself okay from the scratch and that's how you will come to know the real-time issues and the real-time challenges that you might face when you become an RPA developer. It's my kind request that please stop wasting your time waiting for someone. If you uh, feel that you will get someone who will give you the entire project and he will make you work on that, that will never happen because everyone is busy right now. Okay, and they might uh, help you. They might help you okay they'll be in a position to help you or guide you so just start approaching the real-time rpa professionals okay who are currently working on rpa projects ask them for some small information kind of things okay ask them about the rpa life cycle ask them about how the code moves from development to production yeah in that case they will help but if you are asking them for the entire project maybe that might not work so once you start this particular process of approaching RPA developers and asking them for some information kind of things, at, uh, on a broader level, you can just try to connect those things and I can promise you that you will be far beyond the people who are just beyond uh, the certifications, okay? So that's now how you will actually gain a lot of knowledge. Start approaching people, get information, try to apply it and again approach people. That's how you learn. So once you start approaching people, right, so you will uh, get bits and pieces of information which you can just collaborate and try to work on that, right? Take action on that. Whatever they have told, write them up into a paper or a notebook, then try to go through the different uh, things that we as an RP developers will execute in our job okay and that's how you'll be able to like go far behind the person who is just behind the certifications and by ignoring all the practice that actually he should be doing so practicing will be the key differentiator here which can help you to crack an interview because right when you practice you will get to know the issues when you get to know the issues you will find uh, the solutions for that and that's how you'll be in a position to answer any kind of question that an interviewer might ask uh, you'll be in a position to like come up with a solution come up with alternate solutions for the same problem that would be my suggestion for anyone who is trying to get into rpa and but confused about 
the projects okay that's how you should be able to get the projects that's how you should start learning the things hope uh, this video has helped you and all the best so we also have a lot of uh, project kind of things in our cha channel you can just check them out thanks